Alright guys, so this is the MXGP of Portugal, and this is what, round like 12 of the series? Round 11, round 12 I think, and uh, I think we're still not leading the points. I'm pretty sure Jonas has the points lead. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done one of these because they've been getting a little stale, but I want to keep doing them, and then this may actually be my last career mode playthrough. But if you guys want me to continue on making these career mode playthroughs, make sure to let me know down in the comments below that you actually enjoy them because, like, the grind is real, guys. And honestly, like, if you guys aren't enjoying them, like, I'd rather be making other videos. But if there are a ton of people that like these videos and like the career mode playthroughs then I'll try to keep them here on the channel and stick with it but they're just getting a little stale and I want to change it up I want to go somewhere else with the channel and, and focus on different things and make better videos for you guys better content overall so uh yeah let's get right in to the racing All right, here we go, moto number one. Now, it's not raining, but it looks a little wet, so this might, oh, we were so close to timing that start. But this might not go over the greatest. We'll have to see what we can do. Wet riding is always a little, a little tough, you know? It's always a little tough. Now, if we can, if we can make some plays, get some passes, and uh, start shredding, then maybe we can get some good results here at this round but i don't really know i don't really know where we're going oh hang on man hang on i have a couple things i need to fix with my hud turn this on turn this on boom on turn it all back on um i had it all off because of the raw video the raw two stroke video i did so i had all of that stuff turned off but let's turn it back on and uh, that way we know where we're sitting what position we're in who we're battling with and all that and uh, we can try and maybe make some plays oh i tried to hit a weird line there that they definitely did not want me to hit <laughs> the ai did not want me to hit that i ran right into them would have been a faster line but we still got the lead here early on in the race and with it being muddy i want that early lead so we'll see what we can do we got four minutes out front and then a whole another moto and hopefully we can try and gain some points on Jonas because he is that points leader so any position in front of him is a good position in my books I'm not too sure like who's in third for the points but we're out here we're out here we're in we're in second and I know Jonas is in first so we need we need to beat him this track would be really fun if it was dry I think I think if this track was dry and you could actually hook up the lines you could hit would be unreal, but we're slip sliding everywhere and it is slippery here today. <laughs> it is a little slick, ladies and gentlemen. The track is not attackable. Not yet, at least. Maybe some lines will form and we'll be able to absolutely rail, but for now, we're going to have to take our time, try and ride a smart, smooth, clean race and uh, see what we can do. That's one lap under our belt and we'll come up through here so this is where we start to learn the track now i haven't actually played this track before this is probably the only track at this point that i haven't played because i've played a lot of the other ones doing certain videos and stuff it just so happens that i haven't played this one but this one it, it seems like i i've missed out like this is probably a really fun track and I, I maybe need to do some more videos on it because this would be fun for a time trial time trial race maybe even a head start challenge i'm not too sure we're gonna get we're gonna get crazy with the videos i want to have fun with the game rather than just career mode playthroughs like i want to do i want to do different things oh my we're lagging we're lagging so hard holy crap okay then that was really interesting got a huge lag spike but we're back we're back at it <laughs> and uh let's see what we can do two minutes left we got that lead these rollers are pretty gnarly, honestly. In this section, I wonder if you can double. See, like, if it was dry... Oh my, how are we not dead? How are we still on two wheels? If it was dry, I wonder if you could, like, double down that hill. Like, get two chickens, put them as buns on a sandwich, and you'll be doubling down, you know? Like, KFC, double down. <laughs> not for real, though. Like, I think there would be some sweet lines on this track if, uh, 
you could hook up and, and get some traction, but it's a little slick. <laughs> She's a little wet here today. Up through here. Oh my. This section. Oh, okay. That is definitely a better line than what we hit last lap. I would say on to lap number two, but the finish line, we crossed it a while ago. Like, it was way back there. That's just where the... The start kind of hooks on. Or I guess we're on to lap number three. This is lap number three. If you want to be technical about it, full lap number two, though. Control that throttle. That's all you got to do here in the mud. And uh, it's not too hard to stay on two wheels, but if you're, you know, too hard on the gas or you start turning too sharp, you're gonna go down. It's gonna, it's gonna get the best of you and uh, throw you to the ground. So you kind of want to just try and ride smart, be smooth, and don't make any mistakes. That's kind of what you want to do in any racing game, though. <laughs> don't make mistakes. Be smart. Be smooth, and uh, get the win. Right? That's that's the main goal. That is always the main goal. Like right here, if we just... Oh man, if we could hook up on the face of that and launch, I think we might actually be able to do it. We might be able to do it by the end of this this moto. Or, or maybe later on, maybe in the second moto. If we, can, if we can hit that line, like I bet you that's the fast line. Other than that, like it's a pretty one-line track, but it's definitely a fun track. It's fast, it's flowy. Even through here, you can hit those corner bumps or you can miss them like it, it's kind of up to you and we're now down to two laps two laps to go all right i think we got this one in the bag though i think we got this one in the bag <laughs> no no problem and then if we can repeat this in moto number two oh my goodness i will be i will be jumping for joy because we haven't had a good a good one one finish yet in this season we've been close but we've we've choked it like hard messing up like last lap or whatever or did we get a 1-1 i think maybe we've gotten one 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 overall wow that is that is a lot of ones one one round where we went first first in both motos <laughs> oh that's crazy that's crazy it's been a long season so far and we're we're almost done, but there are still like, what, five, six rounds to go, so... I think I'll definitely finish this career mode playthrough, but we'll see what happens after that. I don't know if I'm going to start up another one or not. And I think I want to bring you guys different, different styles of videos, you know, like... Fast lines on this track, and what lines you should be hitting, and different things like that. And I, I want to dive in depth into these games, because I think... It's more beneficial, it's more relatable as a viewer if you can actually like learn something from it and, and benefit from it. Like it, it's more open to viewing if that makes sense. Like more people are open to view it if they're gonna learn something from it rather than just like a career mode playthrough, right? Like if they're just gonna sit down and watch someone play a game they're not benefiting anything from that really and i know like that's a huge part of youtube is literally just sitting down and watching people game but like i want to i want to be different i want to do big things i don't even know i don't even know guys <laughs> career mode playthroughs are just so like they're, they're so standard they're so easy they're like a walkthrough and uh everyone does them it, it's like one of the easiest kinds of videos to do for this game you just sit down and literally record yourself playing like how much setup, how much thought do you guys think really had to go in the, like into this video for me to sit down and actually make it? Not too much, right? Like you just set up your recording software, you know, I turned on my webcam, I turned on my light, threw up the green screen, and then, you know, here we are. We got a backdrop on the webcam, and I'm literally just babbling on about the gameplay and, and playing some MXGP Pro. Like, it's not a lot of effort in a sense like it doesn't take a lot of effort and it, you feel like you don't put in a lot of effort when you do these kinds of videos i don't know maybe it's just me <laughs> maybe it is just me but i think i could be doing more different different better things if that makes sense <laughs> if that makes sense at all 
through these whoops and we got a couple corners to go before we are gonna be crowned victorious for moto number one what a flawless moto number one too like flawless we absolutely killed it guys we absolutely killed it can we get a thumbs up can we get a thumbs up for this first moto guys we were on rails the whole moto we got i wouldn't say a fast lap but we we hit a decent lap time and uh like no crashes no mistakes really like what a good what a good moto let's get it that's that's the way we want to do it guys that's the way we want to do it each and every round so if we can actually get another another moto win i will be hyped that would be sweet if we can get the get the overall for the day maybe get some points on jonas let's see what we can do a terrible start once again but i think i'm gonna dive to this inside like we did last moto because it seemed to kind of work Leg central. Oh my goodness, my PC cannot handle this sometimes. <laughs> but we're going good. It's going good. What place are we in? Fifth? We got a couple guys to try and pass here, but I think I think we have faster lines than them on this track. And oh my, where is Jonas? I thought this was Jonas, but it's not. It is not Jonas. We got this. We got this overall. We got maybe even the points lead if he has a bad moto i think we're only like 10 behind him so if he has a bad moto 10 points it doesn't take a lot to gain 10 points on someone especially we gained at least two we gained at least two on him last moto so we're getting we're getting closer the championship hunt is on and we're running out of time so we gotta we gotta crunch like there's no crunching left <laughs> And we, we got to try and get some moto wins here going towards the end of the season. Yeah, I don't know if that is possible, that line. You would need a, like a, a, a big old good drive out of that corner. And I don't think it's possible to get. I honestly don't. Oh, shift down. <laughs> Too high of a gear. If we can just have a dominating performance here in in portugal i would not complain i would not complain about that up over the finish line throw a little whip i i don't even whip in this game because the animation is like so bad it's so bad it's not even worth it it's honestly not even worth it to do honestly like that's not the whip animation there the whip animation sends you flying off track sometimes and like the whip doesn't even really look good so is there even really a point in doing it i don't really know i'm not too sure <laughs> i am not too sure that was our line that went out a little wider through there and i think it might have worked a little better for us last lap maybe we'll have to try it the next time around We just got that flow though, like we're flowing around the track. Oh, are we gonna get, oh, I thought we might get reset there. We cut a little bit. We cut a little bit of the corner. Down through here, I'm surprised we can't actually make that double, kinda sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, not gonna lie. I can't, I can't really complain too much, you know? over to here let's get through this corner okay things are going good oh we almost got it we almost got it it just takes commitment maybe on the four dunk maybe on the 450 it's possible but i don't know about a 250 i'm sure there is a fast line through there but i don't know if we can do her i don't know if i can hit it We're definitely railing though. Still another 147 as our lap time. So I don't really know how if that's good, if that's bad. Just trying to keep her on two wheels as we work our way towards the finish. Or towards the end of the race. We got a minute 18 left. And this will be oh my. This will be one of the best rounds we've had so far in this series. Like I said earlier, I think we've only done or had one 1-1 one, one finish. So this will be our second 1-1 one, one finish 
our first or, or our, our second overall and uh, maybe we can gain some points that's that's kind of <laughs> kind of the main goal we need to get some points we need to be working our way towards Jonas in the long run like that is kind of what we need to be doing and uh, if we can do that if we can get that points lead then by the end of the series I'll do I'll do some challenges or something but I want to try and at least get the points lead first before I do the challenges and then it's like a challenge to keep the points lead but I don't want to be like already behind and then doing a challenge and just putting myself like even even further behind so uh yeah <laughs> yeah hopefully that makes sense but uh I'm having a ton of fun though this track is gnarly track's a ton of fun it's flowy it's fast you can like hold it wide open the whole th the whole way around the whole way around there's actually a lot of traction for it being wet like i gotta take back what i said at the beginning like we're not really slip sliding everywhere it's just a little sandy like it, it's kind of wet sand honestly i know it said clay it says it's clay but i don't think this is clay like this doesn't really handle like clay <laughs> clay is usually like hard like rock hard and slick and when it gets wet it turns to like ice but this this is very different than what i just described <laughs> this is like this is grippy it's not not hard packed at all it's like soft and uh we're, we're putting in a good moto here a good moto two to go we once again got the early lead, so no real struggle in this moto, which I get it, it's boring. <laughs> it's boring, but it is what it is, and uh, it's good for the overall in the championship, you know, we need these points. We need these points. So we'll see. See what we can do, maybe try and throw some whips, hit some fast lines, maybe try and beat our lap time by the end of the race here, I don't know. Still that 147 as our best time. So it doesn't seem like we're, we're getting any faster, that's for sure. Considering last race we hit a 147, this race we hit a 147. Imagine just being able to send this all the way. Man, it would save you so much time. So much time. But we're on rails right now. Oh my god. I'm just loving this track. This track's a ton of fun. Like, a ton of fun. I got the flow going. Scotty too hotty, you know? Scotty too hotty. Last lap. <laughs> Last lap, guys. Can we hit a faster lap time? I honestly doubt it. I honestly doubt it. I don't know how we hit. Like, how our first lap was our fastest lap. And then we're not going to beat it after that. That kind of sucks. I wonder if it was this outside line that did it. <laughs> Getting a huge drive up through there. Oh, I thought we were going down. I thought that was going to be the first mistake of the episode, but... We seem to actually be doing pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Like, I'm riding pretty smart. I feel in control of the bike. I don't feel like I'm getting sketchy and like crashing or almost crashing everywhere like we're not really having any goon moments like it's been a pretty smooth episode so far watch we'll crash before the end of oh my we'll crash before the end of the uh the end of the lap it's the last lap so if we're gonna make any mistakes this episode it's gonna be right here right now look at that that would be a gnarly <laughs> okay you know what i'll take it because we sent it for the boys but uh that'd be a gnarly line it really would be. It would be a gnarly line. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. As you saw there, like, we cased pretty hard. <laughs> we cased pretty hard. We kind of deserved that crash. And I knew, I knew as soon as I started talking about crashing, I knew a crash was going to happen. I knew it. So if I ever want, like, some entertainment, 
in my in my videos I just talk about crashing and then <laughs> I will crash. So uh man we did it that one one overall. Let's get it. I'm gonna have to take a look at the points here though, because we'll have to see. We'll have to see if we got the overall or not. Now I'm just coming in here to get my thumbnail for for the video and uh then we'll end her off. So we won the second moto and Jonas finished fourth. I actually didn't even check what he finished in the first moto, but uh, let's just approve, approve, and approve. And yes, we did dominate. You can see there, this is definitely a challenging track, but Gunzig dominated and brought the victory home. That was us, guys. We absolutely killed it. Confirm those. And oh my god, we got 12 points on Jonas. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Judging off of that, if we take a look at the overall results, oh my god, I thought we were only 10 behind, but we must have been 15 because we are 3 points. 3 points behind Jonas going in to race 13. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, the championship hunt is on. Remember guys, oppose nothing, conquer everything. Peace out.